We are on it right now with Inyo Bingo. It's always better when you watch. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. CC from First Dates is with us today. Hola. Playing Inyo Bingo for the second time. Yeah, you're like a pro at this now. I am, um, yeah. You know what to expect. I've made a big mistake, Scott. I forgot trousers. Oh. I don't really want to do a vest and pants thing. No. Like at school. So I'm just going to have to cover up the trousers slightly. Cheating. Is that, mm. It is cheating, cheating a little bit. That is cheating. One day only. Right, okay. Yeah. Like I said, if you want me to do that washing, bring it in, because yeah, I do like doing washing. That needs to happen. I do enjoy it. Okay, so... Right. Fill your cheeks, please, with the waters. Here we go. CC, in your bingo is happening right now. And first, over to the sports news on Simon Mayo's show on BBC Radio 2. Now, this sounds like quite the achievement by the jockey Paddy Brennan, but I don't know how Colin would feel about this. And jockey Paddy Brennan has clocked up his 1,000th jumps win in Britain and Ireland. He was riding Colin's sister. <laughs> 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 the name of the horse was Colin's sister, of course. He was riding Colin's sister. Thank you, Ben, for sending this, that one in. So if you spot an innuendo at any time, just tell us what TV show or radio show it was on, kind of brief time it was on and what they said, and email it to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. We couldn't do this without you. OK, now over to BBC Radio 4. Water, please. And Gardener's Question Time. Now, last time we heard from Gardener's Question Time, we met this man. I'm Dick Soper from Great Sexham. <laughs> <laughs> this time we're joining a very keen gardener. <laughs> Let's hear him again, I enjoy him. I'm Dick Soper from Great Sexham. <laughs> this time a very keen gardener discussing his 400-year-old oak tree. Now, I love a good tree, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't love trees as much as this man. I had a similar event with a, an oak tree of mine, which I think is about 350 or 400 years old. And uh, we cleaned it up a bit to help the water to run off, but then got the most marvellous bonus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you got... Big old length on your spray here. Never, he? he- never heard them called marvellous before. I quite like it. Then got the most marvellous bonus. Mm, thank you, David, for sending us that one. Next, we're going to I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and one of our favourites from last week. Now, Cece, obviously, are you, are you a fan of other reality shows, not just first dates? Do you mm-hmm. like I'm a Celebrity? Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. Now, I've not seen that much of this series, but what is going on here? Here is Larry Lamb with happily married, I like to say, Wayne Bridge. Just get down on your knees. Yeah. Right, now give it a little blow. Careful. That's it. <laughs> That's it. There you go, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thanks, Thanks mate. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Is that I don't know. Oh, it's not kicking off. I think they were, they were trying to light a fire. CC direct hit to oh Chris's God. face there. That was incredible. In the face. Really good. Wow. <laughs> right, it's on. What, please? <laughs> From the same show, here's Carol Vorderman with happily married Ola Jordan. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's good. Oh, Carol. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's proper in now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Carol Vorderman giving Ola Jordan off of dancing a massage in yeah. the bush yeah. and yeah. Wayne Bridge learning how to stoke a fire. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I need to watch That's this what it show. was. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's proper in now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And now more reality TV, courtesy of The X Factor. Now, everyone on The X Factor generally starts out as an amateur. So, very important for them to have a good relationship with their mentor. And, well, Sharon's obviously never there. But Simon does get very close to his axe. <laughs> Look, you know, Ryan, you, you were my wildcard pick. Yes. Um, and I think what you've done has been incredible. You have been in the bottom a lot. <laughs> I 
Simon there talking about Ryan, this week's Victor contestant, being in the bottom again. You have been in the bottom a lot. And now let's go over to a classic. It's Rachel Koo. Rachel Ho. On BBC Two, A Cook Abroad. A Cook Abroad. <laughs> now in Malaysia, <laughs> poor Rachel seems to have been... <laughs> Sorry. Rachel Koo has been caught out by one of the local customs. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Before I leave, the village headman is determined to see if I can shoot his blowpipe. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't expecting that. To see if I can shoot his blowpipe. Oh okay, now we're going over to Five Life Sports Extra, and it's Test Match Special. Is it uh, pretty wet over there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Tad. This doesn't work. <laughs> Rubbish. Now it's test match special, and now when you're commentating on the cricket, there is a lot of time where you just have to keep talking because nothing really is going on. And if you're not careful, you can end up revealing a little bit too much about your personal life. And here's a very good example of that from Sir Jonathan Agnew. And then goes Stokes. Bowls, and that's pushed away out to uh, mid-off. It's a bit embarrassing because at Rajkot, my room was directly above Adam's. So you could hear me pounding away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris. Oh, Cece, this is good. Sorry. You've got good aim, Cece. Like, really good. Really good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Agnew there from Test Match Special. So you could hear me pounding away. And now, a classic from, from last year. Taken from our song for Eurovision 2015 and featuring myself. What? Yeah, yeah. It's me interviewing the Eurovision act for that year. Oh, chaos. Now, I've uh, interviewed a lot of people, but... <laughs> 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 I like to think that <laughs> years of practice, I can make the guests feel really at ease. And sometimes they just get too relaxed and they, and they say too much. Just like Alex Lark from Electro Velvet. Is that all made up on the spot? Yeah, I just went for it and, and did it. Actually, the scat thing is, is something I've always been into. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that one. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex. The scat thing is, is something I've always been into. If you don't know what that is, it's this type of music. Oh. Rubbish. And finally, let's go over to BBC Local Radio. You okay? I'm fantastic. One more. Okay? It's BBC Radio Norfolk and the presenter Nick Conrad. Mm. Nick seems to have got the wrong idea here about... Um, what his listeners do in their houses. Have you got CCTV installed at your house? And what's the most surprising thing that you have captured on it? It's probably the next door neighbour's pussy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that was Innuendo Bingo with CC off of first dates. Thanks for coming in again. I know it's, it's well, really wet over there. Um, if you didn't see it at the time, we'll get a video for you later. One.